guys, today I'm going to create a altered canvas and I'm using one of these 8x8 canvases from Michaels. It's called Artist Loft is the brand. And I'm going to use Graphic 45's new 6x6 patterns and solids paper. I'm going to use a variety of these and I'm probably going to uh, do a collage over the canvas. And the picture that I'm using is one of my wedding photos. And I'm going to create some texture on my canvas using some of this crepe paper, which is basically the party banners that you can purchase at your party store or dollar store. I have some chippies from Imaginarium Designs. I'm going to try to incorporate that, those into the project. I have what, what's called this bird netting, and I'm going to incorporate that into the canvas as well to add some texture to the background. I'm also going to add some lace. I got this, this lace here from... My friend Miranda, she's Miss Liberty 25. Hey, Miranda. So she sent that to me recently with a altered project that she made for me, or uh, two altered projects that she made for me. I have a whole bunch of lace here, including some of the Graphic 45 staples lace. And I just have bits and pieces of lace that was cut, you know, that have been cut in the past from projects. Uh, some random, you know, little pieces of trim from my stash. Uh, these are dimensional stickers, I guess. Um, I'm going to incorporate those into there. And I have some I Am Roses flowers, a whole bunch of them here. I have some twine or twill ribbon that I'll probably use to add texture. I'm going to use some Mod Podge for doing the uh, collaging of all these elements down. Uh, I have all these fun elements here. Um... I have a big tray of all these different random metal embellishments. So just these are all just metal embellishments. But I also have some here, which I keep. These are, I think most of these are my Tim Holtz. I like to organize them like this. So I have a whole bunch of metal embellishments here. And I'm going to incorporate some staples on there. So these are just things that I'm picking from. I may not use everything, but I have the ornate keyhole, the ornate vintage label holder, uh, the antique metal door pull, and then I'm going to uh, try to incorporate the ornate metal door plate knob. And to add some additional texture, I'll probably do some collaging with these doilies. And then I have more embellishments. I have so many random things in my scrap room, you guys. I'm just going to pull things out and just start throwing it on and see what um, how it comes out. I love these flowers. These were on clearance at Michael's. And when you put them into the uh, layout and start collaging them down, um, use some gesso and spray them. I'm going to use my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays to uh, finish off my my canvas. So anyways, those are the things that I'm getting ready um, to do. Uh, here's a Tim Holtz doorknob um, a little light bulb. These are by, let me show you these. These are so awesome. These are from the Bottle Cap Incorporated. And I have a whole bunch of these. And these are um, wooden chip letters, which are awesome. And then they also come in numbers and symbols. But these are so fun. And I'm using a four. Where is it here? Bingo chip four. And a big eight. I was married on April 8th. So I'm going to incorporate that into the altered canvas. So anyways... Here's a tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching.